Hello student, hello everyone. My name is Mr. Baharu. Today's lesson topic is distribution and settlement pattern. Population distribution is the spread of population over the given area. Population distribution in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in Oceania, in Northern South America. Human population is spread unevenly or unequally over the Earth's surface. Why will the population is distributed unevenly due to ecological and human factors? It may be positive and negative. Positive factor attract large number of human. So ecological factors and human factors have positive and negative factors. Positive factor attract large number of population and negative factor leads to small population distribution. So positive and positive ecological and human factor associated with densely populated area and negative ecological and human factor associated with sparsely populated area. The positive ecological factors or environmental factor include low temperature and high rainfall, accessibility of drinking water, favorable climate situation of a given area is called ecological factors. Positive human factor include unemployment access, housing access, medical service access, peace and security, respect each other, mutualism is an example for positive human factor. So positive ecological and human factor attract large population and negative ecological and human factor attract less population number. This map shows world population distribution. The red color indicates population distribution across the globe. So here, one dot indicates 100,000 population. So close each other. Dots indicate densely populated areas and far apart dots indicate sparsely populated areas. World population distribution is classified into two. These are densely populated area and sparsely populated area. Densely populated areas is called population nodes of the globe. It include Asiatic population belt, peninsular Europe and northeastern North America. Asiatic population belt contain 60% of all the population confined along river basins. It includes East Asia, China and Japan, South Asia, India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Peninsular Europe include 10.8% 10 10 of all the population. Peninsular Europe include England, France, Germany, Italy. Those countries are Peninsular Europe. The most developed cluster economically and demographically. The third one is Northeastern North America, include 5% of the population, USA, which is USA. USA is highly urbanized and industrialized region. So Peninsular Europe is here. Here France, Germany, Italy, England is an example. Peninsular Europe, Peninsula, Asiatic population belt, belt include China, Japan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India contain 60% of all the population concentrated here. 10.8% of the population concentrated in Peninsular Europe and 5% of the population concentrated in Northeast North America in USA.
sparsely populated regions. It includes tundra, the coldest region of the globe. Most harsh climate of the globe exists in tundra. Hot dry lands, the deserts. Hot wet lands, a region of high rainfall. High relief, the highest mountains and areas of poor soil, infertile soil. So those regions attract less population number. So sparsely populated regions is called areas of less population concentration. Tundra treeless region of the globe, hot dry land, the desert, Sahara Desert, Atacama, Colorado, Arabian deserts, hot wetland, tropical rainforest, high relief, the highest mountains, like Everest Mountain, Mount Ruinzuri, Mount Rastashin. Area of poor soil is desert area soil. Is. Settlement pattern. Settlement is a place in which people live carrying out a variety of activities to make their living. Settlement is areas of human population inhabited. Settlements are categorized into rural and urban. Based on three major characteristics. These are human-made structures, building structures, population concentration, number of human population, and dominant economic activity. So settlements are classified into rural and urban based on three criteria. These are human-made structure, population concentration, and dominant economic activity. Let's see one by one. Rural settlement is characterized by scattered or dispersed settlement, agricultural economic activity, sparsely populated and settled areas is called rural settlement. Urban settlements are characterized by densely populated areas, non-agricultural economic activities are dominant and diverse settlements. So settlement pattern is shown by a diagram is called settlement pyramid. Settlement pyramid shows the hierarchy of settlement or the development stage of the areas. This triangle shows different kind of settlements. Those settlements are classified based on human-made structure economic activity and population number. Isolated home and farmstead, hamlet and village is called rural settlement. Town, city, metropolis, conurbation and megalopolis called urban settlement. So rural settlement and urban settlements are the two contrasting settlements. Village, hamlet and isolated home contain very small number of population number or sparsely populated areas. The main economic activity is agriculture. But from town to met megalopolis, those areas include non-agricultural economic activities like manufacturing. Most of the educated people are concentrated in the urban centers. So settlements classified into urban settlement and rural settlements. Village, hamlet, isolated home or farmstead or farming area is called rural settlement. Town, city, metropolis, conurbation, and megalopolis is called urban settlements. Metropolis contain areas which have 10 million populations. Conurbation is the combination of urban centers. For example, Addis Ababa, Adama, Bahardar, Hawassa, those combination forms conurbation. Megalopolis. An urban center which have a large number of commerce centers for international market. Student, today's lesson topic is discussing about the concept of the concept of population distribution and settlement pattern. Thank you for listening. It is 
it is all about today's lesson topic. Mm -hmm.